Salutations. Olaf. So, I get to share with you guys a beautiful little message thingy. And uh, first question of the night is simple. How many of you guys remember seeing a lock very similar to this one and having to figure out the correct combination in order to open said lock? About five of you. This is good. This is good. Short term memory. You're not wrong. All right, well, my story has to do with a lock. Second question is how many of you guys know what an escape room is? Or have done an escape room? Either or. Excellent. Well, for those of you who don't know, an escape room is somewhere where you are locked into a room and you have one hour to try to escape. I know, it's pretty exciting. But to do this, you have to solve clues, puzzles, and figure out combinations to locks like this or find keys to locks similar to not this. <laughs> so, I had the lovely privilege of being able to do this when I was in Virginia, once upon a midnight drift. And uh, so, me and my team were there. Our mission was to find a stolen painting. So, we started scurrying around the room and looking for clues left, my other left, and back to my right. And then we realized we started finding pieces of dominoes all over the place, along with uh, opening different boxes that led us to more domino pieces and more domino pieces. So we came up, we were following this one clue, and we had, we had to come up with a famous artist's name, all right? And so we figured it out, it was Vincent Van Gogh, all right? And so what we did is we spelled out his name, all beautiful, and we had to flip the domino pieces over, and we had to count all the beautiful black dots on those dominoes, and then there was this door, all right, this beautiful door, and then it had this beautiful lock on it that you had to enter it in, it's got buttons ranging from zero to nine, so as they're calling out the, the, the lock combination, we're just punching them in, punching them in, clock's ticking down, we got like 15 seconds, so we're actually not casually putting these in, we're like, Whoa, okay, and so we do that, we get there, we get to the last digit, we put it in the door, and we go to open the door, and it doesn't open, we miss something, we go back, we look at it, we run out of time, and we realize we substituted the letter N for the letter U, it didn't work, so I tell you that to tell you this. Jesus, I'm actually going to read a Bible verse actually first. We'll pause, and then we'll come back to Jesus. It says here in John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So, Jesus in the story is the locked combination to get to the other side where God is, all right? So we can try different things. We can try different religions and things, but Jesus is saying clearly, he's like, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can get to the Father unless you enter in through Jesus. So we have to enter in Jesus into the correct combination, and then we get to open the door, and we get to go to where God is at and be with him. And God's, Jesus has already opened the door. He's, he's already opened it. He says, here it is. It's like, all you have to do is just trust in me and to follow me. And here it is. And so I tell you that, to make sure you guys know that. I don't know why I said that, but you know, it's cool. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pray, because prayer is awesome, and talking to God is even greater. All right. 